here today we will discuss about the coulomb's law this is from the electrochemistry and this is the lecture number 2 so here we will know the what is the meaning of the de, uh, meaning and the definitions the electro coulomb's law here we will know the what is the meaning and definition of the first the statement given by the coulomb the statement for the coulomb's law state that if we have taking the two force two bodies charge bodies and they have the certain force of attraction or repulsion the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion and they have the some distance then the electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion between two charged bodies is directly proportional to the product of their charge and inversely as the square of the distance between them so here we are taking the three things that is the force of attraction or repulsion then uh, charged bodies and the distance so how you can mathematically we have defined now we'll discuss these things so suppose i will take this is the statement so mathematically how you can uh, solve this one so one thing this is the directly proportional and uh, this is here uh, another one is inversely proportional okay so directly and inversely proportional to uh, the force of attraction is one time one time directly and another time inversely proportional to each other to the distance between them and the product of their charges so suppose we will take the two point charge bodies this is the charge bodies and this is the point charge and this is the at the point a and this is the point at b so now the distance between them is r and they have the force of attraction that is let i have taken the f is the force of attraction or repulsion so here i have taken the force of attraction to point charge bodies and the distance between them is r so uh let us consider two charged bodies a at a and b separated by separated by the distance r that means the charge body they have separated by the distance r so now uh, the force of let the force of the force of attraction i have taken the force of attraction the force of attraction between the two charge bodies between the the two charged bodies is f so f is the f is the charged uh, f is the force of attraction of the two, uh, between the two charged bodies so uh, here there is a the presence of the charge q1 and here there is a the presence of the charge q2 because they have the charged body one charged body so now according to the Mm, then according to coulomb's law according to coulomb's law what the force of attraction as i have told you direct force this is the symbol for the direct force not to product of that charge that means q1 into q2 okay direct force not to q1 into product of charge and again this is the equation number 1 and again they have inversely proportional to that means i have written inversely 1 by the square of the distance that means square of the distance distance between them is r so r square it will be okay this is inversely proportional so what is the difference between direct proportional and inversely proportional to i am telling just uh, things that that if f is increases in direct proportional to q1 and q2 product also increases if f decreases the product of q1 and q2 also decreases no be personal what happen if f is a increases then there is a decrease in the r or if uh, there is a uh, r increases then f will be decreases so this is equation number 2 now clearly here now this is direct proportional to the product of the charges uh, inversely proportional to square the distance between them so now equation 1 combining equation 1 combining equation 1 and 2 we get f direct proportional to q1 into q2 
divided by r square or we can write f is equal to beta q1 into q2 divided by r square so this is the your derivation for the problem's law so here what happen this value of beta this is the constant proportionality this is the where beta is constant proportionality constant proportionality so constant proportionality so it has the si value and the cgs value beta has the si value and the cgs value so what is the si and cgs value for the beta now we will put okay so we have the columns now i have direct proportional to sorry f is equal to beta into q1 into q2 divided by r square this is the value so now we will take the si first we will take in columns law in cgs in cgs beta has the as value 1 by k so is equal to 1 by k into q1 into q2 divided by r square so this is for and also for any medium this is for any medium and f has the value beta has the value 1 beta has the value 1 so this is 1 into q1 into q2 divided by r square so this is for free space this is for the free space okay now come to the si what is the value of beta here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and epsilon r this is the epsilon 0 and epsilon r okay here e0 this is absolute permittivity absolute permittivity and er that is er is relative permittivity relative permittivity so here also f is equal to you can write now 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and epsilon r into q1 into q2 divided by r square this is for any medium for any medium this is the formula for any medium okay now for the free space there is given f is equal to beta has the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 only that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 we are not writing the epsilon r in case of the free space So q1 into q2 divided by r square for free space. This is for the free space. So this is the one value for the Coulomb's law, and this is another value for the Coulomb's law. And in SI, this is the one value. In, sorry, in CGS one value. This is for any medium for free space. Here also in SI, in free space. So basically, we're using this law for free space. Okay. so this is the clear fundamental ideas about the coulomb's law what is the statement what is the mathematical derivation what is the value of permittivity what is the epsilon 0 epsilon r and for any medium or for free space so this is the clearly given ideas about the coulomb's law hope the video will be